Hey guys, Marshall from Going Gear. We're here at SHOT Show 2014 in Las Vegas. We're here with one of my favorite companies, some of my favorite people. Uh, we're going to talk about Olight flashlights. So we have Tiffany here from Olight. If you ever uh, contact Olight on social media, on any forums, anything like that, chances are you're talking to Tiffany right here, right? Yeah, that's okay. me. So you do Facebook? Facebook. A lot of the forums? All the forums. Instagram, Twitter, everything. Anything online, you're going to be talking there to her. There you go. So if you're talking to Olight, you're probably talking to her. So she's going to walk us through Olight's new models for 2014. You ready? Yes. Right. One thing we wanted to introduce at SHOT Show were our new 3400 milliamp hour 18650 rechargeable batteries. Are those using uh, Panasonic cells in those? Yes. And they also have a button top. So pretty good compatibility with most lights on the market. A little, Absolutely. A little bit sticking out so you don't have the flat top that you see on a lot of batteries that, uh, you know, you can't get that piece of connection. So they got a, a nice little button top on there that sticks out further than a lot of the 3400s I've seen. So they'll probably be compatible with just about anything that they'll fit in. Absolutely. Um, these are going to go great with our new charging stations that we're coming out with. These guys can charge pretty much any lithium ion battery. So I think I also saw in the specs they'll do nickel metal hydride as well? Yes, absolutely. So most batteries that'll fit in there, it'll charge? Yeah, any any guy that'll fit in this little sieve, you are good to go. Cool. And it uh, looks like you have some different colors? Yeah, we're going to have our, everyone's going to want black. We really like our teal. It's our new company logo colors, if you guys have noticed. And then white, just because it looks really pretty. Looks like you have, an, <laughs> you have another capacity battery in there, a 2600 milliamp hour. Um, are those going to be available at the same time, or is that later down the road? Yes, these are all going to come out whenever our chargers are coming out. Okay. Which is looking maybe about two months down the road. And are you going to be doing more battery capacities in the future? Like 16340s and 14500s? Yes. Okay. Maybe, right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you know, we're, we're working on a lot of stuff right now. So ne Never say absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, these guys are going to be cool. They've got a status indicator lights on the side here. I don't know if you can actually see in the video, but there's these work in quarters. So you'll know when you're at 25, 50, 75, and then 100% done. And if you do try to put anything in there that's not rechargeable, they're kind of idiot proof, and they'll blink and let you know that it's actually not going to do that. So it looks like they have the indicators on both sides, so it'll mm -hmm. light up on either side. Yeah, if you put two different batteries in there that are different, have different charges left in them, they'll actually light up individually to let you know which side is actually done. And these just have your standard wall plug that plugs into the side? Yep, these are going to come with their own barrel port. Um, everything is going to be packaged all nicely together. Great. We're pretty excited about these. All right, let's take a look at some flashlights. Okay. So this is our SR52. Don't know if you're familiar. This is an upgraded version of our SR51. We've got more lumens coming out of the sky. We're looking at 1,200. Um, rechargeable. Runs off of three 18650s or um, six of the 123s. It's got a battery power um, indicator right here in the switch. This little guy in here is going to glow red whenever your batteries are getting low, so you never have to worry about when you need to charge. So similar to what's on the S20 baton, just kind of lights yep. up red when it gets low? Yep, exact same switch. Can you show us the LED and reflector in there? Because that's a pretty pretty big reflector people are Yeah, it's uh, the, the throw in this guy is pretty cool. Um, Cree XML2 LED down yes. in there? Yes, yep. Can you show us the, the output real quick? Yeah, you wanna I mean, shine it shine camera. it in here? I don't know if it'll <laughs> it'll completely. Yeah, and you've it out. got a yep. yeah, you've got two different modes. You've got your your high output here, and then you got your low. You just press and hold for that, so you can cycle through pretty easily. Is that the final interface, or are there going to be more outputs in the final version? I think this is what we're looking at for this light right now. Um, all the lights that we're going over are not in full production yet. Right. Um, so so there, some, there might be some changes. Yeah, there might be some changes. So you know, don't. Don't hold us to anything just <laughs> just quite yet, but it'll be um, similar at least. Yeah, it'll it'll definitely be similar. We're gonna keep we're definitely gonna keep that twelve hundred lumens on this. Okay, what's next? Um, let's see. I'll show you guys this guy. These these going gear guys have been talking about this light ever since the beginning of the show. This is our SR Mini. If you're familiar with any of our SR lights, you know that these guys can put out a lot of light. You're looking at the same batteries as the SR um, 52, the three 18650s, or the six one two threes. This guy is the same battery power indicator, and this guy puts out, I don't know if that's, oh my God, I just blinded myself. 2,600 <laughs> lumens on this guy. Super diffuse, super beautiful, just wall of light. Um, now my now I actually can't see because I just blinded myself. <laughs> but you can see um, our three LEDs in the center here. I think they said uh, three XPG2 LEDs yes. down in there. Yep. 
So if you need just a really beautiful, beautiful light, I've been showing this to everybody. Can you even is that totally blow that out too? Yeah, it's not too bad. No? You can, you can kind of see what's going on. Yeah, so pretty excited to introduce this guy. We might change a little bit um, as far as the bezel and everything goes. Um, you know, one thing I noticed is, is a lot of people were saying that the SR52 is, is a pretty cool light, but to me, I really like the SR Mini, and the reason is, you know, in Georgia, as you guys have seen in a lot of our videos, it's kind of hard for me to find wide open spaces. So I like flood. I like stuff that mm -hmm. just lights up everything in front of you, and this thing just puts out this huge wall of light. It's kind of like a mini SR96. So yeah. you got that big SR96 with the 4800 lumens. Yeah, the 4800 lumens that you try to figure yeah. out what you even need to right. do with that much light. It's not exactly pocket friendly or, you know. No, it's, it's yeah, this the, way, you know, much easier to carry, yeah. but you still get an incredible amount of light. It's something you could throw in your, your pants pocket or your cargo pocket or something like that and uh, actually have a, just a huge amount of light coming out of a, a nice compact little package. Yeah. All right, so what's next? All right. We have, you guys are probably, if you're familiar with Olight, you're probably familiar with our M18. We're actually developing our M18 Striker. Really the biggest difference is a super aggressive bezel right here, stainless steel. We're really trying to make it into a better um, self-defense light. We're going to take out the side switch here. We're going to change the functionality. It's really just going to have super, super high output. We're thinking maybe 800 lumens. Um, you'll have your high output in your strobe. but. Pretty excited about this. Some of our um, more tactical guys that carry our M18 are really excited to have yeah, this so, really so aggressive bezel. So simplify the interface and make mm -hmm. it a little bit easier to use. More of like a self-defense, yeah, uh, tactical police guys kind of light. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be more intuitive. So when you actually need a self-defense light, you're, it's gonna be be way easier right. to keep yourself stressful situations. Safe. You can, get, you can yeah. get right into what you need to go into. Yeah, just mash the button hard and hit somebody in the face. I guess <laughs> you're really trying to do some damage, but <laughs> all right, so I didn't next? say that. Yeah, you didn't say that. Um, Don't get us right. in trouble. <laughs> the last the last slide we uh, want to show you guys. This is gonna be our R40 Seeker. It's an upgraded version, kind of if you're familiar with our S80, but we're, we've integrated a micro USB port in the tail, completely rechargeable, built-in battery. Um, everyone's familiar with the micro USB cable, so everyone has those cables laying around. It's just gonna be a lot easier to charge. Um, we bumped up the lumens to 1100. You've got three output modes, your low, medium, and high. You got your strobe, of course, and we have the battery power indicator switch right here, where it'll glow red. Is it still going to come with the diffuser? I think so. All right. Yeah. This light, if you're in an area where you have power outages on a regular basis, I know there's some parts of the country, especially in the winter, power goes out all the time, or Florida where they get the hurricanes. This is an awesome emergency light. I take this thing whenever our power goes out, slap the diffuser on the top, and stick it on a table in the middle of the room, and it just lights up the whole room, and it, it works really, really well for that. So I was really excited when they said that they were going to upgrade this. Yeah, that micro USB is really, really a big difference, so you don't have to worry about if you lose it. When it comes right. with it, it's so much easier to charge. Everybody has 50 of those little cables from their phones and their tablets and, you know, <laughs> all their other little Every, devices. Everyone's got, everyone's got a micro USB charger in their car at this right. point. So. Right. All right, so that's everything, right? Yep. All right, Tiffany, do you have anything to add? Yeah, you can check us out. We just launched a brand new website. For all the information, new catalog even, visit olightworld.com. You can get to Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff from there? Yep, everything's on there. You can check out all of our dealers, like Going Gear, straight at olightworld.com. All right, thanks for your time. Thank you. I am an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> That's the definition of YouTube. All right, all right, you can keep on filming. I, I can cut this out. Um.